Nazir Ahmad Zaru is one of just seven gunsmiths left in Indian administered Kashmir. He works in this factory started by his father in 1953 when Kashmiri guns were famous for their workmanship. They were mostly bought for hunting and sometimes self-defense, but decades of violence in the region led to the Indian government limiting the number of guns manufacturers are allowed to produce, and more recently, a ban on new licenses being issued to gun owners. More than 25 workers were employed in this factory, but now there are only two. We hardly make new guns. Most people come for repairs. Our children aren't willing to carry forward the family legacy because there's hardly any money in the trade. Nazi's brother Farooq says trademark wooden butts like this made Kashmiri guns famous overseas. It takes 10 to 15 days to make a gun. Gun making needs a great deal of experience. Most of it is handmade. The rifle butt is made of walnut wood with a fine finish and it looks beautiful. Historians say the once thriving industry has become another casualty of the worsening security in the region. Due to uncertain situation here, gun makers have come under tremendous scrutiny. They were subjected to checks and harassment by the authorities. They got scared and as the armed conflict raged, they abandoned their profession. The violence has led to the decline of many traditional vocations in the Kashmir Valley. Shaukat Ahmed is one of hundreds of workers who have lost their jobs. He now makes electrical equipment for a living. For generations, my family was making guns. In this neighborhood, there were 15 factories, and all of the men here used to work in these factories. 13 have closed because of stricter rules, so I had to open this workshop to provide for my family. Gun making is in my blood, and it will never die. Nazir Ahmed owns one of the last two factories and is asking the government to lift its ban on gun licenses. This trade is dying every passing day. The government's excuse is that the security situation in the region is not good. But what have we got to do with that? The guns manufactured here have never been misused. They are used for hunting and not for war or, God forbid, for any militant activities. As the Zaru brothers put the finishing touches on their guns, they say they hope they won't become the last of the region's gunsmiths. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.